the Pope's talking about is the challenge to us as humans is to respond to internal and external challenges of change. So when you come to family, the behaviour and the, and the methodologies and the procedures uh, of uh, what we do and how we go about our business, how we extend love and mercy in those situations, is a critical component to the whole process of redemption and a critical component to the whole process of reconciliation. Inasmuch as what we do as a nation state is critical to the sustainability of humanity on this planet and how we relate therefore to creation is fundamental to that sustainability as well. And of course the, the Pope's made this linkage in his concern about the environment and the degradation of the environment and his concern over the drivers of production and resource exploitation is the linkage to the poor, to those who are considered poor in society. And he had a pretty, there's a pretty interesting definition or expose of this concept of the poor, which I thought was interesting and one that certainly makes you think, which should made me think, you as journalists should make you think double. But it says, and again I'm quoting from, from the uh, encyclical, um, which says, the poor, they are, and I'll put in brackets those, they are those denied the right to life consistent with their inalienable dignity. So the concept of poor is not someone that's just physically without funds or living in some ramshackle villa or suburb, it becomes a bit more sophisticated and complex. And this is what I think we're challenged about when we come to family, when we come to community, and when we come to any process of reshaping the world or shaping our communities, is to start to think differently around the concepts that we've been working with that have almost become outmoded or passe. And so we're being challenged, I think, by the, uh, certainly by the insights that the Pope brings to, to this um, in, in the context of creation and the relationship question to rethink that relationship uh, from a different set of uh, understandings. Not necessarily to throw everything out, but to rethink it around some fundamental principles. So the poor are those who are, um, who are just excluded. So how many people get excluded? We've got a debate going on in the parliament today in Australia talking about taking, you know, more migrants, refugees. Some are saying we'll only take the Catholics or the Christians. The others are saying, well, no, we're going to take a diverse group. So who's going to be excluded? The excluded in this definition would be the poor. The other concept of the poor is those who are disposable. They don't count are at the bottom of the pile. So whatever our paradigm of success is and who is deemed to be the lowest of the low and those who are deemed to be the most successful and the most powerful, then we've got to rethink all of that or start to be challenged by the thought that that may not be the right paradigm. 